This is our 1861 interurban freight trolley that ran from Detroit to Pontiac, Michigan up to 1928, as we know about it. It was built by Royal Hubble up in Detroit, and he got killed on a bicycle uh, when he almost had this thing done, but it didn't, all the woodworking was done, but the trucks and motors were not right. We changed them around and put motors on each axle with chain drive and also the controllers and all the lights and everything on here. Right in front here is a snowplow, you what they call a Jordan snowplow, that is operational. Okay, as we go to the front here, we see that there's a person inside of here, which is the operator. And it was a Star Trek figure. We turned the uniform inside out. And we, uh, uh, we uh, turned it inside out, made the cap and everything else. We also have Oliver Hardy on the back end, which is uh, a nine inch figure that is about the right size scale figure. On the front, we have the whistle controller, which is inside on the soundboard. Okay. We also have the headlight, which is operational from the motor controller. Motor light. And also we have sound effects for all aboard. And also for the bell. The trolley pole had to all be rebuilt completely and everything else basically had to be done all over again. The one battery in the back end of the crate is in there and the other one is inside the, the trolley itself. Uh, this was quite a bit of work to be able to get all the workmanship done. Uh, my son here is holding the, the radio that we use, which is a Futaba radio, which uh, is basically one for automobiles and cars rather than airplanes because it's on that channel. Proofful. Taking the roof off of here, my son will be doing it in just a second, to show you some of the electrical work that's inside here that had to be done to make this whole thing work. Hope we can get a picture of it. And this is all the motor control and the reversing switch and all that on that part. The other side, which is all the stuff for the radio control, was a lot more difficult to work to be able to get everything work for all the sounds and the forward and reversing and so forth and so on. This took a lot, a lot of time to be able to do it. As you see inside here, you can see the, the man, the light, the cabs, and so forth and so on. Uh, it took quite a few months to be able to get this thing done. Here's the battery inside. This is the resistance uh, for the controller for the front that was used on the real one. Uh, this is the one of the air compressors, another air compressor being underneath, and all the toolboxes and so forth. All the lights are like they were on the original one as far as we can tell. The trucks are like they were on the original unit as far as we know. Uh, we had to rebuild all of them also. Cow catcher is like it was original. And the flags and the mirrors and all the lights in front are like it was on the real unit which we only see, saw really one picture of so it's as close as we can possibly get to what there is hope i didn't mess this up too much and uh, we'll go from there from there thank you here we are in the back of the interurban hopefully going down the track without running into somebody this is in Sebring, Florida. This is uh, basically out in the Palm Mills in the woods.
Here we are at North Pole. You wouldn't know it by the heat. Here's the famous Paul Fool.